And with kids heading back to school, being up to date on immunizations is a must. Despite the start of the school year, it'll be online. Making sure kids have their shots is something educators are taking seriously. Our Cordero McMurray is live at Ray High School with more on that. Cordero. Good afternoon, Paulo. Yes, we spoke to CCISD Director of Communications who told us even if your student is attending school virtually, kids still need to receive their scheduled immunizations. Now, the state of Texas requires that students need to be up to date with their shots in the process of getting their immunizations or have a valid exemption when school starts back up. Pediatrician Dr. Chad Rudnick says there is a reason for that. Even if your child is going to be home and doing distance learning right now, it's unlikely that distance learning will have to stay for the entire year. They would like for all the forms, they still need these forms. It's still a part of, of state law. Now, Lead First will be hosting a drive through back to school health and education fair. It's happening this Saturday, August 8th, and they will be offering immunizations for eligible children between the ages of four to 18 years old. It's being held at the Ray High School gym from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and the cost is $10. For more information, you can call 826-7238. Parents or legal guardians need to bring your child's immunization record, current Medicaid card, and the parent or guardian must have a valid ID. Reporting live from Ray High School, Cordero McMurray, Chris 6 News. Paula. Thank you, Cordero. The superintendents of West Oso, Alice and Premont ISD, along with several state and local officials, will join our Katia Uriarte this Thursday for a back to school town hall. The hour long special will air this Thursday at 7 p.m. right here on Chris 6.